Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today I'm be showing you how to unroot your Samsung Galaxy S3 on a Mac OS X computer. And now this will work for every type of variant, so that's i9-500, all four major US uh, carriers. Um, so it's T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, um, Canadian variants for Bell, Telus, and Rogers. And technically this method will work for every type of Galaxy S3. What I mean by that is it'll work for US Cellular and then Cricut. Uh, but for those files, you need to download individual stock TAR files. For the ones I mentioned, which I will be supporting, I'll actually provide those files in the link down below. So all the files, all the applications I mentioned in this video will be down below in that one article. So you don't have to go around searching for it. Everything is there in one nice tidy place. So click on the link down below. They'll say uh, download links and step-by-step -step guide. Click on that. They'll bring you to my website. Follow the directions and you'll find all the files that you need and you'll be good to go. Uh, very, uh, as long as you follow these directions, you won't have a problem that much. Uh, but if you are actually planning on unrooting your device to send it back to the carrier slash manufacturer, first you need to reset your uh, binary flash counter. So click on the annotation right there or click down below and that will bring you to my guide on how to reset flash counter slash binary counter so they don't ever find out you ever modified or rooted or installed a custom ROM. Also be aware that this will wipe all your data off your phone from internal data, movies, music, apps, settings, data, all from internal memory will be wiped completely. Pictures, every single little last bit will be wiped. So just be aware of that, be sure to back it up. I um, mean, if you're rooted, use titanium backup or just transfer to your computer, all your music files and movie files and all that because it will wipe every single thing. Uh, just be aware of that. Um, so as long as we get that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So go and power off your phone, select power off and okay. And we're going to enter our phone into download mode. So wait till the LED does uh, shut off or goes away and then we'll enter our phone. Okay. Now we're going to be pressing a volume down, home start button and power button all at the same time. So all three, once you feel vibration, let go of the power, only the power let go once you feel vibration. Now press the volume down, or actually volume up, I'm sorry, volume up to continue. So volume up. And now you should see downloading, do not turn off target. And now plug in your phone via mic USB to your computer and the, other, the USB port um, to your actual computer device. And make sure you're not using a USB hub, make sure you're using the original Samsung USB cable um, and you're running on a USB 2.0 port as you may run into problems if you don't do that. Uh, so make sure you just do all those requirements so you run into problems less likely. Um, now let's head down to our Mac computer and get started. Okay, so on my Mac computer right here, as you can see, I have two files. One is Heimdall. That's the program we're going to be using to actually um, flash the stock TAR files onto your uh, Galaxy S3 variant device. And the other one is right here. This is a zip file. It's going to be a different name for each individual model number. Now, since mine is a Samsung Galaxy S3 T-Mobile variant, my, num my model number is T999. Now, you have to download your individual file. Don't worry. It's all down below. So if you have a Ryzen one, you're going to be doing um, i535, I believe. That's the model number for Ryzen. Um, AT&T is different. Uh, i9500 for a national version. Don't worry. Just download the correct one, individual file for your specific Galaxy S3 in the article down below. And then you'll just have a zip file just like me and you'll be fine. So first thing we're doing is actually installing Heimdall. So let's go and install that. And this does require restarts. So if you have any open documents or anything like that, make sure you do close it and save it before you restart your computer as you may lose them. So I'm going to do continue, continue, put in the password if you have it. If not, then just continue. And now it's going to install. This will just take about 30 seconds. So I'll be right back. Okay, now select restart right there and now it's gonna restart your computer and I'll be right back after this okay now if we head over to our applications folder so just go into finder applications and you'll see um, Heimdall right there uh, oops sorry about that um, let's go just uh, tap on H and right there so Heimdall fronted right there so you should have this application installed in um, your applications folder after the restart and also one thing you should have installed is Samsung keys so make sure you have Samsung keys and Heimdall installed on your computer as you will need keys later on if you run into problems. So make sure you have both installed. Um, keys also does require restarts, so I recommend you download and install it right now so you don't have to restart it later. So Heimdall fronted, and this is a GUI um, way, so this is a graphics user interface. I prefer this for unrooting as it can get a little bit complicated if you don't use this GUI process. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't, <laughs> don't just ignore it, don't worry about it. Um, so first what we're going to be doing is going to utilities detect 
It'll say device detected as long as your phone is in download mode and plugged in. Select save as and rename this uh, pit file. Rename this pit file to whatever really you want. So I'm going to do uh, T-Mobile Galaxy S3. Oh, I even spelled T-Mobile wrong. Great. Uh, T-Mobile Galaxy S3. I think it's spelled uh, T-Mobile again. Uh, stack tower. Or stack pit. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about the typing. I'm in a really awkward uh, place right now with the camera angle. Um, so I'm just going to do it from my desktop just for your convenience so you can see where it is all, at all times. So I'm going to pick save. All right, and now we're going to click on download. Okay, so as you can see, once I did click on download, I got this error, error claiming interface uh, failed. And now if you do have Samsung keys installed, which I did tell you to install, you're gonna, you'll are gonna most likely get this problem, error claiming interface failed. Yeah, interface failed. So what we're going to be doing is open up terminal. Let's go in a little search bar right up there and search terminal. So terminal, enter, and now it's going to go, let's open up terminal right here. And now we're going to go and type in some pseudo commands to unload the text files. So here are my notes right here. Um, so we're going to be uh, copying and pasting each one of these individually into terminal and pressing enter. Now note your Mac computer must have a password for this to work. So make sure you go into um, settings and then into users and set a password onto your account to make this work. Or pseudo commands will not work, which you which is required. Um, so what we're doing is clicking on sudo right here, copying and pasting each one. So I'm going to do C and then control V, enter. It's going to ask for your password. Just put it in. Don't worry, it won't show up. Just press enter. Okay, first one's done. And it was successful as you did not get any errors. Okay, now we're going to do the second one. Control C, V, enter. Okay, you're good. And now the last one. And after this, we should uh, uh, have it working without a hitch. Let's copy and paste. Enter. All right, so we're done. You can just go and close out terminal. I'll just put this down just in case. And now let's go and try it again. So let's click on download again. And now it should work. And there we go. It did work. So that was a solution. And I'll show you right here. Um, here's my pit file right here. So there's my uh, Galaxy uh, to, yeah, uh, T Mobile S3. Pits. So that's how I saved it right there. Um, so now let's go ahead and kind of do the hard part. Um, so now we're just going to put this down. Don't close it. Um, just put it down. And here's my zip file. Remember I said everyone's going to be downloading an individual uh, stock uh, top uh, stock tar zip file. Well, here's my T-Mobile one. If yours is going to be individual, Verizon and all that, links down below for your individual one. So I'm going to go and zoom in and show you. So first thing we're doing is just unzipping it. Okay, now open up the folder. And you'll get these two files. So you're going to get one of this. SS, uh, whatever that is, that's uh, useless for us for this video. And the other one is .tar.md5. Everyone should have that ending. .tar.md5. Everyone's going to end with that. So we're just going to go into get info. And what we're going to be doing is um, renaming it. So we're going to do, um, we're going to go all the way to the end of it. Um, where's my mouse? There we go. Uh, all the way to the end of it and delete .md5. So everything after .tar, .tar delete it. So do that and then. Um, do this use uh, select used tar that so look it should look just like this only dot tar that's all and I can close that out and go it go ahead and untar this folder so I'll be right back after this now open up the folder right there and you get all these files everyone should get very 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 similar files of the names at least you know okay so that one's good now I uh, just remember where this folder is um, within the desktop or wherever it is this untarred folder just make sure where it is um, so I'm just gonna um, close it just for now and we're gonna go back to Heimdall so Heimdall fronted and now we're gonna go ahead and do this whole process which won't take too much longer as long as you follow directions so now we're gonna go into flash and find that pit file that we just had so mine is on my desktop there's tmobile s3 dot pit right there so there it is Select it and open. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and add this. So click add. And what we're gonna be doing is clicking on, um, actually I wanna show you the folders. Okay, there we go. So here's the untarred files uh, that we just did. So there's all the files that you need. And here, click on, um, okay, sorry, clicked on add. Now go and browse a boot.mbd. So it's gonna just be named a boot right there. A boot, and let me move this down just a little bit. So it's a boot right there, and click on Browse and locate that a boot file. So we're just going to go into .md5. We untar that, and then a boot. 
Okay, open it and click add again. So click add. Oh, actually, uh, uh, remove that. All right, now let's click add and locate the second one. So now this one is called boot. Add it, browse it, and add boot. Add boot again, boot image. There we go. Now click add again and find cache. And this is very simple. Uh, there's only one file that you need to know as everything else is very um, simple. It matches the name. And we're going to go and find cache now. Um, here's cache and it goes in order from the files. Click add and now we're going to do non HLOS. So that's a file that it's not recognized. There's not a similar one here. And that is actually modem. So make sure it's on modem. So it says right here file non HLOS.bin. So you can see the similarity. Okay, and then click on browse. Okay, so if it gets stuck on this, um, as you can see, I'm clicking browse, and there you go. So you have to give it a quick, quick, uh, quick second um, to actually locate it. And now let's go and find on non hlos.bin. Click to open and add it. And now we're going to do the rest. I'm going to be right back and I'll finish up this whole process as my camera battery is dying. Okay, so that's a better camera angle. So let's go and select add again. And then select recovery dot, uh, recovery dot image right there and find recovery right there, select browse and find recovery. All right, select add again. And now we're gonna do RPM. So find RPM, which is right there. And find the file again. So RPM is right there, right there, add again. And now we're gonna do SBL2, so SBL2. And we're gonna double check all these just in case we didn't make any mistakes, so SBL2. All right, add SBL3 now, it's automatically selected. And now we're gonna browse SBL3, SBL3, click add again. And now we're gonna do uh, system.image. So that should just be under system right there. And it tells you the name right there. I think I mentioned that earlier. Um, so now we're gonna do system.image right there. Select add, select add, there we go. And now we're gonna do TZ, which is already selected. And browse it and find TZ right there and add it. Add it. There we go. And now we're going to just remove that one. There we go. Okay, so now all these are selected. Now we're going to double check everything. So a boot is right there. So a boot, a boot, boot is boot, cache is cache, modem is uh, non HLS, which we said earlier. Recovery is recovery, RPM is RPM, SBL2 is SBL2, SBL3 is SBL3, uh, system is system, and TZ is TZ. So it should look exactly like this, They're just like this. Um, and make sure you unclick this, resume, use after no reboot. I always run into problems after that. So just unclick that. And now um, make sure your phone is still plugged in into your USB cable right there. So it's still plugged in into download mode and cl uh, click on start. And you should be running without a hitch. Okay, since we got error protocol initialization failed even after the sudo commands that we did earlier in this video, um, what we're going to be doing is actually unplug our device uh, take out the back battery cover, um, take out the battery, and enter your phone back into download mode again. And then we're going to go ahead and see if this fixes the problem. Um, with Heimdall on Mac, you would just got to kind of trouble just troubleshoot it until you do get it right. Um, and then eventually um, it will work. So there we go. It's back in download mode and plugged in. So you're good to go. And now let's see if that did fix the problem. Um, fingers crossed. <laughs> um, so we're going to click on start again. And let's see if that did work. All right, so it did work. All right, see, uh, so just if you do run into that problem, make sure you do type in the sudo commands if you didn't do it earlier. Um, and make sure you actually um, enter out of download mode, enter back in, plug in your phone again, as that did do the trick in this case, which it should do almost every time. Um, I actually been fiddling with this the last couple hours just trying to figure this out. <laughs> Finally got it figured out, so hopefully you guys shouldn't have to fiddle around for an hour or two um, with that problem. So as you can see, it's uploading and flashing all the modems, all the stock files. So it's doing 100% for all of it. Um, so once it is almost done, I'll be right back. Okay, so the whole process is at 97%. Um, the last thing is at system. So it flashes the last thing at system, 99%. And our phone is going to reboot. But we're not going to fully boot it up. We're actually going to enter into stock recovery and um, wipe our device. So it is re reboot, uh, booting up right now. So I'll just show you that really quick. All right, it's booting up. I'll go and switch camera angles. All right, now you should have seen that green Android. I just missed it. So now it's rebooting. So once you get past that green Android like I have, go and unplug or take out the battery and unplug your device. So just take it out and make sure your phone is unplugged. And now we're going to enter into stock recovery mode and do a factory reset. So we're going to press the volume up, 
home center button and power button all at the same time. Once you feel vibration, let go the power. All right. And now you can let go once you see that uh, purple text up there. And now it's going to enter into stack recovery mode. There we go. So you got to get the Android right there. And now here comes a really small text. I'll try to do my best right there. We go. Oh, that's not bad. So we're going to do it to wipe data for this factory set. So there we go. All the way down. Select it using volume up and down and power button. And go all the way down to yes. Okay. And that's going to do a factory reset right there. So formatting data. And this will just take a few seconds. All right, next we're gonna do wipe cache partition. And once we do select that, it'll automatically reboot our device. So it's just easier anyway. So wipe cache partition, and it'll automatically reboot our device after this uh, installation process is complete. So let's go and zoom out. Oh, huh, wow, I actually didn't do that. Um, okay, so last time I did this, it actually did. All right, that's all right. Um, so now we're gonna do reboot system now. Let me try to get that good. All right, so we'll select the very first one, reboot system now. Select it, and now it'll reboot our device. All right, whatever. <laughs> All right, and now our device is going to reboot, and I'll just give you a few seconds to see the Samsung logo, the spinning Samsung. So let's give it a few seconds. All right, so there it is. So I'll just give it about, wait about 10 minutes for it to fully boot up, and I'll be right back after this. All right, so after about five minutes of it fully booting up, you are on your start screen, so go in and start it up. You can go and set it up. Um, mine's going to take a little bit uh, to actually do it just a sec, just because my SIM card isn't in there. Uh, but that is how you fully unroot your Samsung Galaxy S3 on a Mac OS X device. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and like by clicking on the bottom left hand corner, as that does really grow my channel, uh, shows you me support me, and I should keep making more of these guides, just not for Mac, Windows, ROM reviews for Galaxy S3, unrooting, rooting, all this crazy great stuff that you guys love. So be sure to subscribe and like this video, it is much appreciated, um, I really do appreciate that and um, if you need some help with this maybe you get stuck on a problem maybe protocol is just not working and keeps failing be sure to hit me up on twitter facebook and google plus all links are down below and link to all the files every single thing you need is down below in that one article link thanks for watching guys i'll catch you later peace